Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hello fellow Aquas, this is going to be for your bonus timeless readings because I have done already all 12 zodiac signs for September. So these are just a little extras. You free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. It feels like someone's trapped in something, whether it's trapped in your own head or trapped in a relationship or trapped in a job, someone feels trapped, but it is mental entrapment. It's here. It's something about love too. It's the way someone thinks love is supposed to be. They've got to get out of their head about that. I mean, aquas are thinkers. So someone here might be too logical when it comes to love. And love is one of those things where there's no rhyme or reason to it, you know? Sometimes we just fall in love with people at the most randomest times and fall in love with the most randomest people. And sometimes we have it all planned out in our head how it's going to be and how we want it to be. And sometimes it just doesn't happen like that at all. Like at all. Feels like there's one more. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Someone's could someone could be in their head about a connection and they have been keeping words to themselves. This I'm going to say it exactly how they said it to me. They're keeping words to themselves, meaning they're not expressing themselves fully. They want to say more than they say. They want to, I don't know, maybe even say, listen, I think I love you. I think I like you. I think that this could be more. How come you don't open up to me? Why do you keep yourself from me why do you have this guard up someone has their guard up the other person is trying to get in and the other person has been it's almost like a bulletproof vest like what i'm not gonna hurt you the empress someone is everything Whatever your definition is of everything is what this is. The Empress is a mother energy. So this is someone who could be very motherly. They could be very nurturing. This is the divine feminine. This is someone who is pure abundance. They see you as everything. Like you're everything and more. And it's like, it, you know what's funny too? Is it feels like you're always surprising them because it feels like just when they think they've they've figured it out or figured you out or figured out the connection it just keeps evolving or it just keeps revealing itself in layers and it sort of catches them that's what gets them is that they can never just completely figure this out they've definitely tried to let go or walk away you or them someone here has definitely tried to make sense of this someone's trying to make sense of it it's like they're trying to ruin they're trying to get clarity they're trying to like get clarity about this the way they feel or this connection or why do i want this job so much or why do i feel so drawn to move there and instead of just like going with that gut feeling they're trying to go logical about it and it's fucking it up if you will nine of cups wish fulfillment this is everything i've ever wanted how come i can't let myself love it so someone's saying or feeling it's like it's everything i wanted i asked for this it's it's what i it's it's everything i've asked for so why am i questioning it why am i pushing it away why am i doubting it Three of Cups, Celebrations, and the Emperor. It's it's a reunion of the Divine Feminine. The Emperor and the Empress, right? The yin and the yang. The, the sun and the moon. It's a reunion of the two of them. 
It's like I've, 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 I've been waiting for someone like you and then I meet someone like you and then I question the whole, the whole thing. Someone who's just in their head about it. The emperor is control. Someone wants to control this narrative because it's not happening the way that they thought. The idea of it, remember, freeing yourself from what you thought it was supposed to be or what you thought it was supposed to look like. This is what love looks like. This. Justice. There could be Libra energy here, but justice is also balance. It's the balance of the yin and the yang, the light and the dark, the male and the female, or for some of you, it's just masculine, feminine, because it doesn't matter about the gender. We have same-sex genders, but it's the, it's the energy of masculine, feminine. It's yin and yang, sun and moon. It's the perfect match. It's like they're in their head. Ace of Wands. Sun, creation, awakening. This could be a new relationship, but this is a spark. And it's a spark of enlightenment. Someone here has been changed ever since this connection. They have been going through this process of evolution, ascension. Look at that, the sun and the moon again. It's reuniting of the yin and the yang. Reunion. The sun is the happiest card in the entire fucking deck. The moon is secrets, it's hidden, it's hidden emotions. It's also what you don't see coming. You don't see this. This hits you like a ton of bricks. And for some, they have this idea of what love looks like, but they're wrong. This is what love looks like. However quirky, however different, however eccentric, whatever that is, this is what love looks like. And somebody here has to get out of their fucking head about this. They're so stuck in their head that that's not what I imagined. It's not what I envisioned. But it is love just the same. In fact, it's more than just love. It's it's more than you could ever have asked for. So it's even better. But I guess it can be very scary if you believe. You have your Metatron's cube. Look at that. See that? Sacred geometry involved here. All masculine energy. The divine masculine. You know, the divine masculines of this particular group are speaking of twin flames, if you will. Part of that brotherhood. You know, the whole... Metatron, um, Jesus, you know, Osiris, that whole, oh, we don't want to get into it right now, but it's that whole soul tribe. So they've been guided by sacred geometry. They've been guided by the little breadcrumbs that the brotherhood has been leaving for them because they are part of the brotherhood abundance and that's what she is didn't i say that she is abundance the empress and it's also about this person now is becoming more aligned right they're sending even higher so they're now becoming aligned with abundance right because they're aligned with oneself so now they're becoming a magnet for all wonderful great things and this is also part of it it's attracting it all in all of the abundance and this is part of that this connection or this particular union it's it's a whole it's like it's a it's a it's the whole package i feel like someone just questions it obviously if it's an aqua they would we we question everything i'm heavy aqua anyways let's get into your extended okay if you want to purchase it it will be in the section titled bonus timeless readings i know the lighting's a little bit different but i'm traveling right now um and also, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. I will see you guys in the extended, okay? Love you.